Hi, I'm Miles. And I'm Devita, and you're listening to a A Let's Let's Chat Chat special special episode. Hi, Miles. Hi, Mom. How are you? I'm all right. What'd you do with your sister? (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> <laughs> Today I am so excited to have my baby boy Miles join me for a Let's Chat special episode Miles, what are we going to talk about today? I don't know, what do you want to talk about? Gaming Okay <laughs> <laughs> So Miles, tell us what kinds of games you like to play I like to play story based mm-hmm. games mm-hmm. Uh, First person shooters mm-hmm. Exploration games mm-hmm. And more like that all mm. the games. Why, Miles, do you often sit in your room screaming while you're playing games? <laughs> Some games like Fortnite, mm-hmm. Minecraft, mm-hmm. and their competitive sides mm-hmm. can really, really make a person explode. Oh, gosh. And whenever I lose or I fumble or I fail... Mm-hmm. Yes, it's very, very, very loud, and there's a lot of banging on tables and all kinds of things. But I wanted to ask you this question. You know, we watch a lot of uh, different YouTube videos and stuff like that with people who completely lose it when they're playing video games, right? And there have been times we've seen people, like, destroy their televisions and all that stuff. What has caused you not to go that far? A belt. <laughs> What do you mean by a belt? Dad, you, <laughs> Grandma, <laughs> Eric. Everybody. So why do you think people destroy their own property when they get mad about a game? Well, it could either be straight up general competitive games or it could be a tournament. Mm-hmm. And you could be competing for money or mm-hmm. prize a console, TV, something like that. Mm-hmm. And that fueled up anger and energy that you have mm-hmm. could turn into a blind rage if you lose. Mm. And you just want to break something. Jesus. Like, whenever I lose, uh-huh. you know, from the next room over, you and Dad watch a movie. Mm-hmm. Pop, 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 pop. Yeah. Ah! <laughs> That's exactly what it sounds like. Either that or you started doing that blowing into your microphone thing. Oh, like, yeah. what is happening? It's always my question. Do you think, like, there have been reports back in the day where, you know, when the um, all the shooting games came out or whatever, they were blaming the, the, the mass shootings that were happening on video games. Do you think that they have some correlation? Do you think that there's some truth in it? Some of those could be accurate and most of those are inaccurate. Okay. But... Some games could have influenced a mentally challenged person Mm -hmm. or someone with personal problems at home that just want to take out their anger on somebody or something or a place. Mm -hmm. And seeing examples from, take Modern Warfare 2, Call of Duty, Mm -hmm. and the Remember No Russian mission, which was a big controversy back in the early 2010s. Um where several men walked into an airport, Mm -hmm. heavily armed, Mm -hmm. and just started killing civilians and Mm -hmm. officers. That's in a game? Yeah. Oh, boy. It's a mission to start a war between Russia and the U.S. Mm. Um, Because, no, Russian, because there were actually Russians committing crimes against other Russians. Mm Mm-hmm which would make them want to, you know. But, like I said, there could be some truth Mm -hmm. and some lie. Mm -hmm. But all in all, it could happen. It could happen. So from your perspective, because you play games like GTA and that kind of thing, where there are some real-world situations that could potentially play out in those games, how do you make sure you know the difference between what happens in a game and what happens in real life? Using common sense Mm -hmm. and 
knowing who I am, mm-hmm. where I am, mm-hmm. what I'm doing, mm-hmm. is all factors that I hope a person keeps himself true, well, grounded, grounded, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. down to earth. Mm-hmm. So you would normally see regular people who like to play GTA games, mm-hmm. you know, have fun. Mm-hmm. But someone who can't keep their cool or, like I said earlier, a mentally challenged person mm-hmm. could take some ideas from GTA Five and... Does that ever scare you? Like, the the knowing that somebody who is mentally challenged, somebody who might not be, you know, up to par, does that scare you that something like that could really happen? Well, yeah, sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. It's something you think about? Not all the time. Okay. I like to keep my mind on the, the bright side. Oh, good. See? My child. Very I don't, good. I don't stay on the dark anymore. You don't stay on the dark? You did at one point. Oh, that was not a fun time. <laughs> no, it was not. You were not def- fun at all. No. You were, um, you, you dealt with a lot of fear at, um, when you were a little younger. And that was a, a big concern for me. I didn't know how to deal with that. I didn't know how to combat it, you know, but I always just tried to talk to you. What do you think brought you out of that hole, I would say? Being with you guys, my friends, mm-hmm. and generally distancing myself from those things okay. and coming back to realize that these things are bound to happen. Mm-hmm. Things like what? To, like what kind of things are you like what, referring to? Conflict with other countries okay. or active shooting situations, police. All that stuff is going to happen, and I have to realize that this is the real world, and that's just what we live in. That's what we live in. But how do you make sure that you stay above board? Like, what what were the things that you said, you know what, I'm not going to do this anymore? Like, what were some of the things that you were like, I'm not going to do that anymore, so I won't be afraid? Well, now that it's been about four years mm-hmm. since that stage, I don't really remember. Okay, that's fair. But, you know, like I said, being with you guys, mm-hmm. being in church. That makes a big difference. Yeah. Yeah, that's good to know, Miles. That makes me really, you know, happy to know that you were able to work through that time and that um, because we were, we are such a close knit family. You know, you could talk about anything, express anything um, inside the house and not feel any way about it. So that's good. That's good. So we know that video gaming is just that it's gaming, it's playing, and you should not destroy your property. Tell them, tell them, don't destroy your property. Don't destroy your property. <laughs> Do not throw your keyboard out your window. <laughs> don't attack other people for a game. Right. I had to take notes on that one. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm glad you took notes and that you followed uh, followed suit. How school, Miles? School is school. School is school. School is school. Academics. Acad- arithmetic. Uh-huh. Literature. <laughs> It's crazy. Italian. Mm. <laughs> Ciao, Mikiyama Miles. <laughs> Posso andare al bagno? Oh, what's that mean? I have to. Can I go to the bathroom? Oh, wow. Look at you. Or, uh, <laughs> Posso andare la fontanella? Can I go to the water fountain? Yes. Ah, you go, did it. mommy. I'm, I'm a little Italian. You know, <laughs> I, 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 I took some stuff from Italian. Ciao. Uh, ciao. <laughs> That's awesome. I'm really proud of you. I am so excited about the young man that you are becoming. I'm I'm looking forward to your future and what that looks like. Don't be afraid of the future. It has to come as long as we keep on living. The future is going to come. And I just want you to know that you have people who have your back. We support you 100%. And I want the young men out there to know that they're are people here who support you, who love you, who have your back and want you to be the best that you could be. So if you are ever feeling down or depressed or lonely, you can always reach out to us. We are here for you, for sure. Thanks, man. You're welcome. Yay! Yay! Thanks for hanging out with me today, Miles. You are welcome. We need some subscribers. Tell the people what they should do. 
thank you all for watching. Please remember to leave a like on the video and hit the so, so the <laughs> and hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. It's free and it doesn't cost you anything. And also, please hit that bell so you can get notifications every time we upload. This has been another, another let's, let's chat. chat. <laughs> <laughs> this time with Miles and okay. Davida. Thanks for hanging out with us, everyone. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.